Hey everyone, welcome to the Comfy Cozy Club. My name is Nathalie and today I have a cooling practice for you. So this is great if you're at the end of a long day or maybe a long week or a period where you feel like you need to let your hair down. So you might want to bring a bolster or a pillow to sit up on if that feels nice. You might want to bring a blankie to snuggle up, light a candle, just make sure that you are feeling really comfortable and then let's get settled in. So we're going to start lying down on our backs. So take your time to get there. And then once you're there, just hug your knees into your chest. As you take a moment to massage your back. And just notice how the back is feeling. So sometimes when we've been working really hard, or maybe we've been sitting a lot, the tension tends to translate into our back muscles. So just take a moment to feel the support of the mat. Settle into this moment. Thank you for selecting the video. Thank you for taking the time to take such good care of yourself. And then drop your feet down as wide as the mat and drop the knees in. Bring one hand onto the belly and one hand onto the heart. And take a moment to feel your breath. Feeling the belly rise as you breathe in. Feeling the belly fall as you breathe out. Maybe feeling your heart beat underneath your hand. So just connecting to those life forces. Letting any troubles of today go. And then open the arms out really wide. Spread your wings. Let the arms become heavy. As you drop both knees over to the right, bringing the gaze over towards the left. And maybe that's enough. Breathing deeply all the way down into the belly. Or maybe hook the right ankle over the top of the left thigh, and just feeling that opening around the left thigh. So the moment the mind starts to wander, which it will, just return to the breath. Return to the sensations, just noticing how it feels to be on the mat today. Honoring that idea that noticing is already doing something. And then really slowly just bring the legs to the other side. Bring the gaze over towards your right hand, maybe staying here. Crossing the left ankle over the top of the right thigh, feeling the opening around the right hip as you breathe all the way down into the belly. Making sure your face is relaxed, your jaw is relaxed. Then I'll cross the ankle and pull yourself back to center. And then once again, hug your knees into your chest. Flex your feet. Reach the fingertips towards the heels. Feel the space in between the vertebra. And lower the head down. Take a moment to bring your head side to side. And then take a hold of the backs of your legs as you slowly roll yourself back up. 
coming into a cross-legged seat. Sitting up really tall. And then just drop your chin down to your chest. Noticing how that feels in the back of the neck. as you bring the right ear in line with the right shoulder. And maybe that's enough. Or maybe just bring the right hand on top of the head and let your arm become really heavy as you lower the left shoulder down. Maybe crawl the left fingertips out. Feeling the stretch becoming even deeper. As I whisper into my mic. Super intimate. And then take your time as you come back to center. Take a deep breath in, open up through the chest. And as you exhale, drop your chin back down and draw the left ear in line with the left shoulder. Maybe that's enough. Maybe bring the left hand to the head. And just let gravity do its job so you don't need to pull on the head. It's like becoming really heavy through the arm. Don't hold your breath. Feel the stretch in the side of the neck. Maybe bring the right fingertips down and crawl them out. And then slowly return to center. Bring your chin down to your chest. Stack your head onto your spine. And just take a moment to turn the fingertips away from you. And then lift up through the chest, the heart. And maybe send the gaze all the way up, opening up through the chest, the shoulders. Breathe. And then keep the sitting bones really heavy as you walk your hands out. Feeling a stretch in the front hip, maybe coming down onto your hands, maybe lowering down onto the lower arms, maybe finding a gentle sway. And then once you're ready, soften. Soften the neck and breathe. And once again, the thoughts will start to wander. So sometimes it takes a little time to get out of that monkey mind. But just keep anchoring back into the breath, trusting the process. And just as simple as the breath, as we start to breathe a little deeper, signaling, signaling the nervous, oh, I'm getting relaxed, can barely talk signaling the nervous system, that it can calm down. And then walk your hands back up, noticing the foot that's in the front, and just extend that leg out. Turn the upper body to face the leg. And instead of going up and over, we're just going to walk the hands forwards. Maybe bending the leg if you find that you need a bit more space. Breathing into the back of the leg, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings. And once again, just softening over. Notice what's going on. Notice what it feels like to be here in this pose today. 
Sometimes it's quite easy to notice the big stuff, the dramatic emotions, the huge happiness. But can you also notice the more subtle things? Any little sensations? The way your energy is feeling today? So just getting very curious. And once again, just noticing is already doing something. Walk your hands back up. As we take a gentle twist, crossing opposite hand over the knee. Other hand behind, breathe in, sit up tall. As you exhale, twist. And then take it back to center. Come back to your cross-legged seat. Now the other foot at the front, the weird one. Turn your fingertips out. Lift up through the heart. So really think about shining the heart up to the ceiling. Keep your sitting bones really heavy, rooted down. And from there, walk the hands forwards. Giving yourself a moment to sway. Usually there's a little bit more tension in the hip that we don't automatically put in front. And then return to center. Keep hugging the hip bones into the hip sockets. Maybe you're down on your forearms, maybe your forehead is down to the floor. Maybe you're on your hands or just sitting up tall. And once again, release the tension in the face. Relax your frown. Don't drool, though. <laughs> that actually sometimes happens to me. Let's get past that. And then slowly walk your hands back up. Gaze at the foot that's at the front. Send that leg out long. Turn the upper body towards the leg. Feel the length through the spine and then just slowly walk your hands forwards. Maybe bending the leg, taking a hold of where you feel comfortable and then taking a moment to breathe. Keeping the pose alive with the breath. Notice if there are any kind of unnecessary movements that you're making. And just anchor back into the sound of your inhalation and especially the sound of your exhalation. Walk your hands back up. Lengthen out through the spine. And then twist towards the bent leg, crossing the hand over, other hand behind. Take a deep breath in to sit up really tall. Keep relaxing your shoulders away from your ears as you journey into the twist. Keep your head in line with your heart, your heart over the pelvis. And slowly return to center. Now send both legs out long. And from here, just going to take ourselves all the way back down towards the floor, maybe helping yourself with an elbow. And then take a really big full body stretch all the way out, maybe taking a huge yawn. And then bring the feet as wide as the mat. Turn the big toes out. Bring the arms down next to the body. Walk your shoulders underneath your chest. Soften through the fingers. And just take a moment to let go. If 
If you're feeling it, stay here a little longer. Give yourself permission to become really still. Otherwise, slowly bring your hands to your heart. Taking a moment of gratitude for yourself for taking your time to reset, cool down. Maybe share this practice with someone who you think is really cool. As you bring your hands into a prayer, bring the thumbs up to the third eye. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your day.